Okay, so I opened up GDQ and discovered that uh, ceiling warps are mainly, maybe not mechanistically understood as well as I had assumed um, by the average prime player. So I figured I would just make a quick little explanation. It should be accessible to anyone though. So like, first off, the meme, every room is inside a box. You can see these boxes in this viewer right here. Um, the size of the box is determined by the width, height, and length of the room's collision. So as you can see, the room goes this far to the side, so that's this line of the box. It goes this far in this axis, that's this line, and it's this tall, that's this line. That's one room. These are three rooms loaded right now. You can see them on the dolphin screen as well. Um, when you are inside of the Aether box of the prioritized room, and what that means is when you check the map, this is the prioritized room, chaining chamber access. We can see this is the prioritized Aether box currently. It's the Aether box of that room. When you're inside this room, repositions function. Um, and I can actually demonstrate this pretty quick, hopefully. Hopefully quick. Um, if I drop down here and repositions function within uh, 3.5 units of the box, technically. Um, but if I jump up here and morph, I will reposition. You can see over here, I repositioned from this spot up to here. It's where the ball is right now. It's not really on screen, but if I unmorph, you can see where I am. Standing up here. Because the game wants to put you back inside of this box. If you're more than 3.5 units away, which isn't that far, it's like the width of Samus three times, basically. This thing times three, essentially. A uh, tiny bit more, times three and a half, really. But I mean, you know, we're trying to be approximate here. If you're further than that outside of the ether box, so if you're like over here, you will not reposition. Um, you know, if you morph inside of collision, two things can happen. You can either, well, if you find yourself stuck in collision triggering a reposition and it doesn't, it fails because you're outside of the prioritized ether box, um, you either get stuck or you can just kind of like wiggle your way out, but you're not going to get repositioned out. Um, now, why can you ceiling warp? Let's make the camera follow Samus real quick. That's, I clicked the wrong one, this one here. So, Samus is a rectangular prism, as you can see. Um, but if I morph, you can see that the morph ball and the rectangular prism of standing Samus both share the same bottom, um, like lowest spot. I don't know, they sit on the ground. I don't know how to say this. Um, but since the morph ball is a sphere, the corners of Samus protrude much further. And that's important because in this game, if there's something above Samus's head, like say there's collision right here, you won't be able to unmorph. But if there's something beside Samus, like say a angled slope that goes at an angle like this, um, you can unmorph. If you're inside the prioritized, prioritized Aether box, aka the, the PAB, uh, in all caps, which sounds weird to say, but is nice to type. Um, if there's collision here, you'll actually get lifted up, which um, I don't have like an easy example of this. Just take my word on it. I don't feel like showing that off. Um, but you'll get you'll get repositioned upwards by the fact that you unmorphed into sloped collision. But if you're outside of the pab and you do the exact same thing, well, you ceiling warp and. I will show that right now. So I can't see this room's collision. Um, I I had I could have the option too, but instead we're just going to use the third person collision viewer, and I will morph here, and we landed on a seam, and seams prevent this from working because seams work differently than collision faces. I don't know how to explain this quickly. We're not going to go into it. Anyway, that's a ceiling warp. You can see it in real time. So. The morph ball lands, 
And you can see that this collision here, this viewer is kind of tedious to show. Maybe, we, yeah, like this. Because um, this like overlays on top of the collision. But you can see that the corner of Unmorphed Samus would stick through this collision. And it just so has it that if we unmorph, hold on, you have to wait for a second. <laughs> um, if we unmorph, Samus just falls right through. Why does Samus fall right through? Well, this is called ghost state. It's been known forever, and uh, I don't think anyone understands it because no one keeps up with the meta in this game. But essentially, so this viewer doesn't actually make it so easy. Let me change real quick and continue talking to fill the dead space. I'm going to open uh, uh, collision viewer because I want to see the individual collision triangles and this viewer doesn't show them. So I'm gonna open this up real quick. You can see I loaded training chamber instead of magma pool because I wasn't thinking. Continue filling the dead space. Okay, so This giant dash shape here is one collision triangle These lines are from other collision triangles, but this here is one triangle when you unmorph inside of Collision or when a room loads and you're standing inside where the collision is going to load you get ghost state on that triangle. The triangles that you are intersecting when you intersect them. That's it's kind of a, I don't, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, when you're intersecting coll a collision triangle, it essentially is ignored, um, which is what is used for like, the, in, in this room as well, the power bombs, the four bombs, this here, you load, so that your head is sticking up through the floor, but your body is below. And that lets you fall through the floor after collecting this, because you have ghost state. Because the game can't reposition you, because the pab is over here, and you're a good, I don't know, 30 units to the side, so the reposition function doesn't work. So if you load inside of this thing, you will just drop through the floor and ignore it. Um, if you were to jump the instant you leave the triangle, and this is, a, well, it's not super important, but it's important for me, um, the, the moment you leave the triangle, you lose ghost state. So as long as you're inside of it, uh, you can fall through, which is, as we can see over here, um, exactly what's happening. Um, this even this viewer shows where you were when you intersected the triangle and it'll update once you fall through. So this is ghost state. It's that this this display here of this like ghost left behind by Samus. And when you leave the triangle, now that collision is again solid. But for that time that you were falling through it, it wasn't solid. And this is a way that they prevent you from just getting stuck, I guess. I assume that this is an intentionally programmed mechanic. Not really sure. Um, but you will phase through collision. <clears throat> you will phase through collision that you were intersecting when it was loaded, or if you unmorph inside of it, which you normally can't because, as I mentioned earlier, if you try and unmorph um, with collision above your head, if I, uh, I don't have an example, there's nothing in this room that's that shallow, but if there's a, a ceiling right here, the game just won't let you unmorph. Um, but you can unmorph and clip the bottom corner of standing Samus's collision box through collision, which lets you fall through. The collision has to be at an angle. It can be at an incredibly shallow angle. It can be at like, you know, 90.01 degrees, or I guess it would be 180.01 uh, degrees. I don't know, whatever number. It can be almost flat, but not entirely flat. Um, things that are entirely flat, like this perfect, uh, line, I don't know, 90 degrees everywhere, you can't ceiling warp this. Um, but if this, if this triangle here was like a fraction of a degree higher than this triangle here, you could ceiling warp this because it's just geometry. It's like, if this, the ceiling has more height, then the bottom of Samus's collision box will clip it and then you get ghost state. And then as long as you're still touching the triangle, you remain in ghost state, you can just walk 
through the ceiling into the room. I have videos of this. Um, this is also what happens in Metroid Prime 2 when you screw attack things. It's the exact same thing. In that game, essentially, you can force yourself to unmorph when there is a ceiling above you, which is why screw attack is so incredibly broken. Um, there's nothing like that in Prime 1, which is why this game, you know, there isn't a secret world in every single morph ball tunnel in the game. Um, you can also use this, as most people should be aware, to reverse ceiling warp in Metroid Prime 2, which is when you use a um, screw attack on morph, SAU, um, by a ceiling to essentially unmorph and clip the ceiling when you're outside of the pad, and then you can jump straight through ceilings. And this can be done on a flat surface because, again, as long as uh, you unmorph at the right timing, all of this top part of Samus will be sticking up through the ceiling. So it doesn't require slopes, but in Metroid Prime 1, and for general ceiling warps where you're using the bottom of the morph ball and unmorphing to clip through, um, you need a slope. And that that's pretty much, pretty much everything that needs to be said. Um, you can achieve a similar state by having no viable reposition um, and being inside of the PAB, but there's basically zero instances where this actually uh, exists in game. But uh, hypothetically, it it works. Anyway, um, yeah, the ceiling ceiling warps. Now you understand them. <laughs>